Hello everyone. So today we come with a warm topic which is how to build and deploy LLM application with LangChain, Bedrock model and AWS Lambda. So before we proceed, I would like to extend my warm thanks to Chetan for his interest and support in this tutorial. So as I said, in this tutorial, we'll be seeing deploying a Bedrock models for LLM based applications using AWS Lambda and LangChain. So for sure, we'll be guiding you through the process of setting up your environment and how to call your bedrock model in Lambda and also deploying it as a Lambda function. And finally, we'll be seeing how to create your Lambda layers for the dependencies, okay, in order to just um, run your code in a smooth way in Lambda. Before we get into our tutorial, so what is AWS Lambda? It's a serverless computing service that will allows you to run your code in response to the events without the need to like provisions or like managing servers. So this makes it an ideal platform for deploying your machine learning model. So just like even which is created with bedrocks, which can be used in LLM applications. And also Lambda layer, which gives a way to like manage and share your code and then resource across multiple Lambda function, which is particularly useful for like deploying the machine learning models and that have the dependencies on specific libraries or framework. As here, it's like Bedrock API or like Land Chain that we need for to run the LLM based applications. And then uh, Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service where, which could offer a choice of high performing foundational models from leading AI companies like, like AI21 Labs, Anthropic, and also Cohere, and then Meta, Stability AI, and also Amazon models like via a single API. Along with a like, broad set of capabilities, you need to like build your generative AI application. So let me go into the uh, Amazon Bedrock. Yeah, it's already open here. So if you see here, we are uh, in the Amazon Bedrock service page. So these are the models which are supported by the uh, Bedrock right now. So these models which can be helpful for to build the chatbot and then also text and image generation, also searching through the data, and also it can be used in text summarization kind of applications. For this tutorial, we will need a AWS account for sure and you should have the access to create the lambda function and also lambda layers and then you should have your docker installed in your machine and then you'll be using bedrock api and sh you should be familiar with how to use it with a uh, lang chain and then for sure we should need a python script for to deploy in our lambda function okay so let me go into the lambda interface so we are here let me create a test function okay so from here if you see create function so we will be doing a function from scratch let me name the function as as demo so we'll be choosing the runtime as python 3.0 for our tutorial and then just let the architecture be as default and then create function. So now we have successfully created the uh, Lambda. So if you see here, we have the Lambda function uh, Python file have been created by default. And then we have the Lambda handler function here. So we should replace this function by our LLM application using lang chain, okay. Let's replace this default lambda handler function by our own lambda handler function. Just uh, we will be developing a simple application which will call the bedrock LLM or two from a model and it will render the response. We will be using lang chain for this, okay. So just start by importing the necessary libraries, okay. So let's start by importing Boto3, which will import the AWS uh, SDK for like Python, which will allow the Python developers to write the application that makes use of the services like S3, EC2. Here we'll be using Bedrock, okay? So yeah, next we have to import the uh, embeddings from the lang chain, okay? So we will be using Bedrock embeddings. And then we will be importing the LLM. And we have to also import the prompt template. 
as i said we will be using llm chain so let's import llm chain from lang chain as well so once it's done we have to like um, set up the bedrock client okay so let me write So this will create the client for the bedrock service, specifying the service name and the and then the AWS region. Okay. So once it's done, let's create the lambda handler. So this will be the um, like entry point for the lambda function. It takes like two arguments. One is event, which is the input to the lambda function, and the context, which provides the information about the runtime. And we will be getting the question from the user via event. And then just try to get the LLM as well. Okay. So here we will be defining a function to get the LLM. Okay. So let me write the function as well. So in this get LLM to LLM function, which will take the model ID as LLM to 13B, and then the client will be bedrock as I said, and then maximum generation token will be fight pal, and it will return the LLM. So once we got our LLM, we have to generate the response from it, okay? For that, we'll be creating another function, get response LLM, which will be taking LLM as input, and then as well the user question or query so let's build our get response llm okay so our prompt template is very simple we are a helpful uh, and respectful assistant with the question and then we will be preparing our prompt template with this and then we'll be calling llm chain with llm and then prompt and then we will be running the chain or invoking the chain with the question and render the response from the model. So finally, let's print the response. Also try to return the status code with success, okay? This is so simple function that will make use of a lang chain to call the bedrock model and just render the response to the user so once it's done we will be testing our function okay so just try to just run it so it will ask for the event okay so in our case we will be having the event with the user questions okay so let's create the key as question and what is machine learning just for an example we will be checking with this question okay so we have only one parameter in the event let's save this example so before we test our function we have to deploy it right so let's deploy the function so it's successfully deployed so now run the test okay as we expected it just saying there is no module name langchain community so it's completely normal so for these missing dependencies we need to add the lambda layer okay from here we can add the layer with the arn okay for for to create the arn we have to zip the all the packages that the function need for example langchain community langchain and also bo 3 okay and then we have to add the layer to the uh, lambda function in order to run the function successfully so let's create the lambda layer now let's go to layers from the menu and then create layer just give the name as lambda layer test okay and then it will ask for the 
zip file with all the dependencies that we need okay so we haven't created the zip file yet so just come to the terminal now so we have to prepare the zip file okay for that we need docker to be installed on our machine so if you haven't have the docker in our machine just I have provided the link in the description below you can go to their site and then you can download it okay so let's check docker version which is installed okay to make sure that it's installed okay okay so we can see that there is docker in our machine okay we go here to the public gallery of ecr you can find the python 3.10 image so this will be included with aws sand cle and then aws cle so let's pull this image using this command okay so it asks for the password let me type my password cannot create docker okay it's saying like docker daemon is not running so let me start docker in my machine so here i have started the docker okay so let me keep it aside and try to pull the build the build image again okay so now it's done okay so this image is hosted on the amazon elastic container registry ecr so this specific image is to just configured for building the aws lambda function with python 3.10 using the aws serverless application model which is sam so now we have to run the docker container based on the image that we pulled okay for that we have to execute this command okay so this will allow the file in the current directory to be accessible inside the container okay so the container is based on the image that we have pulled earlier so let's run it so it allows for the permission let me give yeah so now it's done we are successfully into the docker container now so inside the docker container we have to install the packages that we need to upload in the lambda layer for example we need a like langchain and then langchain community okay we pip install langchain langchain community inside the folder python okay so let's run it so it started to install the package and the dependencies don't worry about the warnings right now so once it's done we have to zip this okay so let me use another command so here if you see we'll be creating the zip file named my lambda layer dot zip using the python directory okay that we have created earlier so let's run the command that's it this is so simple to create a zip file for the external dependencies to add in the lambda layer so here is our zip file that we have created so what you have to do is uh, in the lambda layer interface we have to import this so it's there now let me choose the architecture and compatible runtime would be like 3.10 and let's create the lambda layer now we can see the arn okay just copy the arn from here and go to 
lambda function here in the layer add layer so we're gonna specify the arn just add the layer to our lambda function so it's done successfully okay so once it's added successfully you can see the lambda layer so we have to add the lambda layer for the boto 3 um, so we have a set of uh, publicly available arn for such dependencies so let me go to this apiklayer.cloud website where you can find the arn for the libraries <coughs> that we use most commonly so here we will be searching for boto 3 so it's here let me copy the arn and we'll go back here to the lambda layers from here we will do add layer specify an arn let me paste the arn of boto 3 and just add So it's added successfully. So you see the layers that we have added been listed here. Once it's done, what we have to do is we have to test. Let's test our code. That's great, okay. Now our deployed code can just invoke the model from the bedrock, which is LLMR2, and it can render the response here. So that's it, guys. So this is so simple to create the Lambda layer function in order to deploy your LLM-based application with a Lambda and bedrock. So hope it was helpful. Find the link to all the resources that we used in the tutorial in the description below. So in this way, now you can deploy your LLM based application with Lambda and create Lambda layer for external dependencies to deploy your Lambda function with Bedrock client. And please let me know if you have any further questions in the comment section below. Until then, bye for now. Thanks for watching.